Okay, so I uh, just got down here. Randy had called and he was down here spreading out the gravel and he got it spread all the way to the pad and all the way around the pad where my lean-to is going to go. And this weekend, he'll probably come down and gravel over this spot right here and actually clear a place right in between those trees where I'll put my camper so I can stay there while I'm down here working on it on the interior of the uh, building. But it's a 17 foot camper, so it'll fit right in here perfectly. And uh, then I'll be able to just drive right down here to it and camp here and, you know, have me a little fire pit and whatnot. But uh, yeah, they got everything ready now. The, uh, the uh, concrete truck is coming down on Thursday day after tomorrow and they're going to put out the concrete the forms ready the pads ready the vapor barriers down thank god because it rained again um everything's good and sturdy for the concrete and once the pads poured he was gonna come back around and level all this out all the way around it and actually probably put a scoop of dirt down there on that far corner to bring it up a little bit for the lean-to. But this morning he also got behind it over here and actually extended the pad out a couple of, a couple of feet farther than it was. So... My lean-to is going to come out to right here. And then I'm going to have six more feet of pad where I can put a fire pit right here just outside the lean-to. So that'll be very nice, very convenient. You know, a good place to come and relax and watch the nature go by and look for deer. And not going to be hunting on this property, but it'll be nice to watch them put a feeder right there in the trees but at any rate uh, we're getting there we're getting there finally back on this thing and maybe I'll actually have the building set up by Christmas hopefully and the first thing I'm gonna do when that building is set up even if it's just a shell and a pad I'm gonna put a Christmas tree in that sucker <laughs> So today, I will call Duke Energy, or Duke Power, or whatever they're called now, and get a pad set up, and, I mean, not a pad, a pole, excuse me, and uh, that way I'll have power to the barn, and, you know, be able to come down here and camp in my camper right there and work on the tractor and work on my Jeep and have everything down here. It's a hop, skip, and a jump from the hunt club, so I can just come here when I'm going to hunt the next morning. It'll be a lot more convenient. 